Welcome back. You are watching your favorite Indian television show. It's of course Aussie Indian. As promised, uh, here is uh, the interview with the ventriloquist, an exceptional talent from India, as I said, Indu Sri Ravindra. I had an opportunity to meet with her and uh, asked her about uh, this particular art, which is uh, a very difficult art to practice and perform. Let's see what uh, Indu Sri has to say about it. Aussie Indian, and uh, we have uh, one of the famous ventriloquist from India, uh, that to my hometown, Bangalore, who has arrived in Sydney to entertain us. And uh, Indushri Ravindra is her name, and uh, let me welcome Indushri to our program. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Uh, if you can tell us uh, a little bit about the history of ventriloquism. Yeah, initially it was uh, started to bluff people. Mm -hmm. yeah, uh, they used to fool people saying that some of the ancestors, somebody the is ghost. in the room, the ghost <laughs> is speaking. Yeah. yeah, so they used to do ventriloquism and people used to believe it. Okay. Yeah, and then this was, uh, yeah, used to deceive people. Then later on it evolved as an art form. Yes. Then it became, uh, yeah, uh, Mr. Eden Edgenberger mm -hmm. is the father of ventriloquism, okay. uh, modern ventriloquism. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. And I share my birthday with him, so... Oh, do you? Oh, <laughs> yeah. That's an added advantage. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, we haven't seen a lot of uh, women ventriloquists, especially from India. Mm -hmm. How it all started for you? Yeah, I started as a magician. Um, I was in grade two when I started. Uh, one of the uh, magician friends came home and then he just showed me a magic trick. Mm -hmm. I was so fascinated by the art of magic, I, I just wanted to learn it. Then I asked him, is this the way you perform? I just kind of figured it out and performed it before him. And uh, yeah, I That's actually had started. figured it out. And then uh, he taught me magic and then later on, uh, it opened doors for me. Mm. I participated in a lot of magic conventions and I spotted a feather puppet, a monkey. Nice. And then I wanted to perform ventriloquism, but sadly I didn't have any idea about ventriloquism. So I asked a person, a ventriloquist, how do I perform ventriloquism? Can you teach me? Mm -hmm. And he said, I don't think uh, ladies can perform ventriloquism. Yeah, really. Because mm -hmm. if you could, uh, there would be many ventriloquists in India as well. Mm -hmm. So I thought, why can't I be that first girl to perform ventriloquism? Yeah, why not? And that is how I, I just got the puppet and um, stood before mirror and practiced for hours together. I didn't know the exact nuances of this ventriloquism. I just pursed my lips, I tried all methods, I just held it in weird positions yeah. and and somehow uh, I kind of figured it out. I learned this art form, which is a visual art form, through an audio medium. Mm -hmm. uh, so I had got a ventriloquism cassette. Oh, okay. So I didn't even see it visually, I, I learned it, okay, this is how it should sound. Mm. So that is how I yeah. kind of learnt it. How long it took you to uh, sort of master this art and then get on the stage and perform in front of the audience? I, I still don't say I'm the master. I keep learning every day. Uh, you because the uh, no, no, no. <laughs> I I keep learning and uh, experimenting this art form. It's it's a very vast thing, though it seems to be a very small thing unless you discover a new thing. Mm. So until I I thought I could do two puppets, three puppets, four puppets. I I thought it was confined to minimum of one wow. puppet, and mm. it, it's a very intricate art form because you need to compartmentalize your brain into many parts. Mm. Uh, you need to be a ventriloquist and a puppet at the same point of time. Mm -hmm. So you need to think like two people. You're not thinking like one person. Yes. So simultaneously you need to figure out your dialogues, perform, yes. be on your feet. If you know how to sing, it's an added advantage. Yes. So it's a lot of things put, all put together. Mm -hmm. It's a vers versatile uh, art form. Yes, yes. Yeah. Well, uh, being... Uh, uh, female doing this art, you must have got a lot of support from your family for this. Definitely. Mm. My father is an artist himself, so um, he kind of helps me out a lot, like technically, to build puppets. Okay. Like world's tallest talking doll, which is ab about 10 feet tall, a Mahishasura. Mm. So I performed it uh, at Mysore during really? Dasara. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so uh, that was 10 feet and he designed it for me. Okay. Yeah. So um, I have dad. a, yeah, my dad. Mm. 
and then i performed uh, i've performed with four puppets so uh, those mechanisms as well he prepared for me mm -hmm. that is like uh, your car accelerator and clutch put together so um, uh, he used the uh, two wheeler gears uh, cables and then designed it for me yeah. so um, if i press the pedal the <laughs> mouth moves okay. so that is how it's manipulated uh, so he so is my engineering in yeah, yeah technical brain yes. and then uh, for my scripts i have my uncle who helps me out okay. and uh, he instilled that uh, sense of humor in me yes. so yes. Uh, every point that i see he he just tells me, no, look at it from another angle. Mm. That is how I got to learn yes. that. Yes. You have uh, obviously performed in every part of the world and uh, in how many places have you been and performed? Uh, this is again a uh, second time I'm coming to Australia, but Sydney. Yeah, Sydney Melbourne. Yeah, Melbourne. Mm. Um, I've gone to US, uh, Dubai, France, Germany, uh, Dubai, Abu Dhabi, Singapore, mm. Thailand. Yeah. So, do you perform there in uh, English, English language? Uh, yeah, uh, English and my mother tongue, Kannada. Yeah, and in Germany, I happen to learn a bit of German. Really? Yeah, because uh, obviously they can't understand uh, mostly English also. So, a bit of English and a bit of German. Okay. Yeah, so they were pure Germans, not even Indians. All right. Right. So, and uh, the accent and everything yeah. is fine, they understand it and yeah. uh, appreciate it? They did understand, they loved it. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, congratulations. And uh, well, what do you think of uh, the future of uh, this uh, ventriloquism in amongst women, especially in India? Do you think it's going to catch up? Definitely, it's picking up in India right now. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of ventriloquists. Um, this was not at all seen as a profession. I myself had not seen it as a profession. Uh, because I never knew that I could take this up as a serious profession. I was an artist and then I did my MS Com. Okay. And then I, uh, uh, meanwhile, I also performed on a lot of uh, television channels. So mm -hmm. that is how I became quite popular and then people started calling me. Mm -hmm. So I thought, okay, let me yeah, <laughs> just try well, this out. Yeah. What kind of advice would you give some of those who are watching this program who want to practice uh, ventriloquism? Yeah, practice is the key. <laughs> Yeah, so if you want to be a, a ventriloquist, you need to practice, you need to give the time. I, what I, I did was I stood before mirror for hours together mm. and I just left anything. I, I, I never played, I never did anything else except mm. practicing. Mm. Yeah, initially it's tough. What people generally do is, if something is really tough, they just try to give quit. Yeah, mm. so don't do that. Mm. Just practice and it will fall in place. Mm. Yeah, basically you will have to learn a lot of things for this. This is not just ventriloquism. Um, this has acting in it because you need yeah. to act. You're acting out the person who is not existing. Mm. Sometimes what happens is my puppet scolds me. Mm. But I'm doing the both things, double acting. Uh -huh. So I'm acting as if that is calling me and I'm also acting as I'm feeling bad or something. Yes, right. So I'm reacting, acting and reacting. So you're doing two things which are opposite. Yes. So you yes. need to learn that. Yes. It's yes. pretty difficult, but once you catch up with that, I think it's easy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then you need to uh, modulate your voice. Yes. Yeah, voice modulation is very important for that mm -hmm. yeah because a, a puppet doesn't have an expression of course. so you need to give all kinds of expressions through voice mm. so that happens through modulation amazing would do you be happy to demonstrate one of your uh, <laughs> uh, puppets with words? okay let's take it hello grandpa do you mind if i call you grandpa no not at all but if your wife does i do <laughs> <laughs> okay yeah but uh, yeah, you are looking very young and uh, like, uh, yeah, I mean, you are, uh, you look as if you are ready to get married. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm always ready for that. <laughs> are you? Yeah. Well, you have traveled all over the world and looked uh, for, uh, have you looked at uh, some of the prospective brides in the United States or uh, Dubai or Europe somewhere? Not uh, anything in particular, but everywhere, yes. Okay. Any, yes. Anyone you liked? Most of them, but the problem is they don't like me. <laughs> <laughs> I see. Well, but uh, the, you may try your luck here in Australia. There are uh, beautiful girls here. Uh, you may like to... Wh what kind of girls do you like? No, actually what happened was most of the ladies agreed to marry me as well. I also was interested, but there is one hindrance. What happened? Uh, 
what's the hindrance uh, somebody is not liking it the most important person from my family is not liking them oh um, who is that that that's my wife oh okay <laughs> well uh, uh, well well you can have a wife here in australia and another wife in india how about that yeah good idea <laughs> yeah you can afford yes of for course for my marriage okay uh, can i find the right girl for you for, to start with yeah and also sponsor me for the marriage oh okay right now i'm not able to do anything much <laughs> oh so, you uh, well if you you have to support me you want monetary support no no actually i can't even stand on my feet so you have to support me physically also but still you want to get married yes <laughs> okay all right we will try and find a girl for you here in australia are you happy to get married and invite me for the marriage not a girl particularly because i'm pretty old it's okay to have a old lady oh okay <laughs> all right thanks very much mostly of uh, your wife age you know oh okay <laughs> my wife age yeah you are calling my wife an old lady that's not does she know it is she here anywhere close by <laughs> yeah i won't oh. tell her don't worry about okay. it okay <laughs> okay oh is your wife also like that yes yes sir. oh my wife is a pain in the neck oh no really is his wife like that no she's an angel oh you're so lucky yeah yeah she is in fact but mine is still alive <laughs> <laughs> So do you like your wife? Not much. Well, why? What's the reason? Oh, she has so many problems. Has she? What about you? <laughs> oh, I look at me. Look at me. I'm so handsome. <laughs> yeah, that I can't argue. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure one of the Aussie girls will fall for you. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, I went to doctor. Uh-huh. He, I told him I have got some heart trouble. Yes. So he said, "No, Grandpa, you don't have heart trouble. You have sweet heart trouble." Oh, sweet heart trouble. Okay. So we are going to solve that for you. Yes, thank you. Thanks for talking to us. You're a very nice gentleman. Thank you. Yeah. So this is what is the expression I'm talking about. So uh, look at him. He's very happy. Mm. Yeah. 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 This is the voice kind yeah. of modulation. Yeah. Yeah. He's sad now. Mm. Mm. <laughs> and he's angry um. so this kind of expression you have to bring it out yes yeah so different kinds of expressions only through action and voice modulation yes yes industry thanks for talking to us indian and have a wonderful stay in australia we look forward to your next visit thank you so much <laughs> Hope you enjoyed that interview with the ventriloquist in the Shri and also the demonstration. And you know that's a lot of fun watching the ventriloquist perform on the stage. And uh, of course, laughter is the best medicine. So bring it on. More of it in future.